Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an 1111 reading for my dearest fellow Cancers out there. Before I get started, I'm just going to ask that you like this video and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because I do upload a lot of content so you get messages when I do that. Now, 1111 or November 11th is one of the most powerful manifestation days of the year. On this day, the frequency of this, this master number, 11, speeds up the manifestation process because the universe's channels, this portal, is wide open. Now, number one represents the magician in the major arcana of the tarot and your ability to use your physical and spiritual tools, okay, that are available to you. Um, 1111 quadruples this power and allows you to manifest whatever it is that you want, seemingly something out of nothing. So do not underestimate your skills. Do not underestimate your power. And Cancer, do not underestimate your magic. Angels use this number sequence to activate, activate light codes for your soul's development. And when you see 1111, it's a reminder that your angels and your guides are by your side. They're tapping you on the shoulder, telling you that you're here to make magic, to create the life, the love, the abundance that you are meant to. Now, it is really important that you guys remember that what you think is what you create. So pay attention to, to your true motives and that what it is you want to manifest or create is coming from your heart space. 1111 is not only meant for just manifesting your heart's desires, but it's also a number that rules, or it's a code that rules the twin flame journey. Um, 11 represents the binary or the dual nature that we see throughout the universe, you know, light and dark, masculine and feminine. Um, in your soul and your twins. So on this day, 1111, it's a powerful day to manifest this connection into your life. All right, Cancers, if you guys want to um, book a private reading or you want to get your hands on the decks that I'm using, you guys can check out all that information in the description box below. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Messages for my dearest Cancers. Eleven, eleven messages, please, for my dearest Cancers. Okay, we get the Eight of Swords in reverse. Whew, that's nice energy. <laughs> the Seven of Swords in reverse. The Eight of Crystals, or the Eight of Pentacles. Ah. We get the Hierophant, hmm. and we get the Magician. Beautiful, beautiful confirmation, Cancers, that you guys are manifesting your heart's desire. And for many of you, this is a commitment, something you've been working on for a very long time. Your overall energy, beautiful, is the Awakening. Oh my goodness, the Judgment card. Cancers, this is your ascension. This is you spiritually moving on to the next level. This is taking a relationship to the next level. For some of you, it's a promotion or it's a raise. But many of you guys, this is something that's been happening in the 5D or in the remote soul planes. And for those of you on a twin flame journey, this is things moving steadily ahead. Underneath there, we do have the Six of Wands. Some of you guys may have experienced um, a little bit of strife, a little bit of conflict, a little bit of confusion, a little bit of excess energy that might have been blocking you and blocking your vision, but Spirit wants you to know, and many of you guys went through a separation or even a divorce, okay? They want you to know this is going to be healed, okay? That you are not to give up. I know you're tired, I know you're exhausted, but we're starting to see our way through the woods here, okay? And this is coming out very loud and clear because Cancers, we're showing up here as the Eight of Swords in reverse. The Eight of Swords is creating, trapping ourselves in the prison of our own mind or our own making. The Eight of Swords in reverse is telling us that we're getting away from this. We're moving out of this energy. We're moving away from the anxiety, the overthinking, the disempowering thoughts. For many of you guys, this has to do with an important commitment or a soulmate relationship in your life, but this is a spiritually ordained relationship. For many of you also, it's your spirituality, receiving an upgrade, receiving, um, you know, a very powerful healing as well. Now, what's blocking you is the seven of swords in reverse. So this is taking me back to the six of swords. 
The Seven of Swords in reverse is something that you found out, okay? Now, it could be if for those of you who are, you know, where this pertains to a connection, um, it could pertain to a marriage or a soulmate or a twin flame journey. It could be a karmic situation. Something that you found out, I feel like it was really painful and it may have sent you into a tailspin, okay? It may have sent you down a rabbit hole. Again, we're being supported by the scorpionic energy to go there, to go deep and to heal what this is. It's going to be different for each and every one of us. For some of us, for some of us, it is healing childhood wounds. For others of us, it's past hurts and disappointments, or there might be a specific relationship in the past or that you're dealing with now that has to be healed, okay? But that, that healing is happening. There is ascension. There is moving. There's up-leveling, Okay, this is like a beautiful timeline jump. It's like, it's like, it's like there was this stagnation and this nervousness and it may be when, you know, it may have started when Mercury went retrograde and now that we have Mercury and soon Mars going direct, that all of this energy is starting to flow again. But the Seven of Swords in reverse is revealing what it is that's been disempowering you or what's been keeping you stuck or what obstacles need to be dissolved or that are dissolving you from your best life, from your ascension from your up leveling from coming into union with your true um, divine counterpart all right so it's beautiful energy there's clarity coming what you need to know eight of crystals all of the hard work that you're doing is going to pay off okay the eight of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn energy what you have been trying to do you may have felt like it would never come true well, you get the magician card. It is coming true. Your wishes, your dreams, your desires, you're manifesting them. For many of you guys, this is a spiritual union. This is a commitment. You may have been trying to take a relationship to the next level. You may have been trying to manifest love, okay? The Hierophant tells me that it is a very spiritual journey for you, okay? And that this commitment is coming in. I love how this Hierophant here is holding this sort of like ball of light. For those of you that do Reiki, you'll understand and this will really resonate with you. Somebody here is offering you a great healing, a great opportunity, something that you are going to want to commit to. Okay, something that you've been asking for, that you've been working for. But for some reason, there was something that you needed to find out or something that you needed to go through before this ball could really get rolling. And then you get the magician card in the upright. This is your belief in your own magic. This is you manifesting. This is Virgo and Gemini energy, but there's magic all around you, Cancer. And look at how this person is effortlessly juggling all of these, you know, all of these crystals, making magic, making them float, levitating, bringing her dreams into reality. I love this energy, Cancer. And with the awakening card, this is a major, major ascension up leveling for my cancer souls out there and boy do you deserve it because this eight of crystals this eight of pentacles energy this is something you've been working on i just heard that some of you guys are breaking an ancestral curse or a dis-ease or a wound you're healing a wound that has been passed down from generation to generation and i think it's like it's like you're finally sort of recognizing where this dis-ease was in your energetic body in your DNA coding even. And that's sort of like that this clarity, what you're getting, the seven of swords, this clarity is, is allowing you to move forward. It's giving you, I'm seeing a very clear map a very clear map of a crystalline grid even of you know where you need to go. Everything is I feel like everything cancer is gonna speed up for you very quickly. Um, the Seven of Swords is also recognizing like where maybe your energy is like why your energy kept sort of going in circles, where your energy might have been misplaced, okay? Whether it was focused too much on another or on a job or on, on something, okay? But that's being balanced out. You're, you're being given a very clear map of how to move forward. And it's, it's releasing this anxiety that, um, that I'm picking up on here on the Eight of Swords, for some of you, it may be a relationship that was kept hidden or you're finding something out about a person that they had tried to keep hidden for you. But this was like a key, this was a very key piece of the puzzle that's now being solved and it's going to allow what you were working so hard towards to sort of fall into place for you. Not sort of fall into place. They want me to say it's going to help you. It's going to help everything fall in place and move forward for you. 
okay? Yeah, there's something here that you were trying to do and you experienced lots of delays and frustrations. There was something, I, you felt like, like it's like part of your, your intuition was telling you to keep going. The only thing you knew how to do was to keep going, to keep pressing forward. Um, and again, there may be something very important with this Taurus full moon, you know, like the press of the everyday. It could be about a passionate relationship, about love, something having to maybe even do with your home or just, or just marriage, you know, marriage or commitment or a relationship is what I'm picking up on. Something, something wasn't able to move forward. Okay. Because there was something that you weren't seeing clearly. There was, there needed to be a shift in perspective or like tweaking or polishing the way that you were doing something or approaching someone. Okay. It could even be communication, <clears throat> but this, whatever this, whatever this is that you're finding out, whatever that you're seeing clearly, it may come to you in a dream or in a meditation. It may be in a reading. It may be communication from someone or about someone. It's going to really help you see things more clearly. Nine of swords. Yeah. Dark night of the soul. Not seeing this, not seeing this, not being able to move forward. Um, you, you're coming out of the dark. You're coming out of the dark. There may have been a younger earth sign also involved here um, that sort of, that, that tripped you up, that got you stuck. Okay, it doesn't necessarily have to be, I mean, it could be a relationship. It could be like a karmic relationship that got you kind of stuck, that got you sort of spinning in circles here. But the nines are the completion. You're coming out of this energy. You're releasing this anxiety cancer. You're seeing things for what they truly are. You've decided to change directions. And I think this is an unanticipated change. I think even other people around you are a little bit, um, they're a little bit shocked. But you know this you're you're acting like water when water comes to a rock in the middle of the river like you're finding another way around it You know, you can't go through it, but there are many options for you to go around it And I feel like that's what you're doing here Tell me more about the seven of swords in reverse, please Yeah, you're releasing heartbreak some of you guys, you are actually acknowledging the love that's around you. You're realizing how you needed to shift your focus. Some of you guys are finding out something about someone that's allowing you to move on, allowing you to move forward. It's allowing you to shift your focus and actually put your focus on love. Yeah, like you're starting to realize that maybe you were, you were, what you were wanting, what you were wishing for wasn't actually good for you. Um, that you're realizing that for some of you, you were looking for union or you were looking for partnership, but you're realizing this, the, the motives for it, um, that maybe because you felt like, you know, you didn't want to be alone. Um, you felt this longing or even this need for partnership or for your twin. And that was, that was coming from a place of fear. You're recognizing that now you're healing that. That was what was keeping you kind of stuck. Tell me about this Eight of Crystals, please, for my cancers. But you're also realizing that what you were trying to manifest that wasn't coming to fruition was actually making you really upset, was, was sort of the source of this anxiety. You're seeing that you're releasing that cancer and you're moving forward, and this is bringing you closer to love, self-love, closer to true love, closer to your Two of Cups. Tell me more about this Eight of Crystals, please, for my dear Cancers. Yeah, all right. There was a decision that was made. Divine timing is at work here. And the Ten of Cups. Somebody may have decided to walk away from you, Cancer, or you may have decided to walk away from somebody, something. It could also be a job. It doesn't necessarily have to be a love relationship. You realized there was someone or something that was really keeping you stuck. It had you sort of chasing your tail. It had you anxious. It had you off balance. What you've been working towards, what you've been trying to manifest is like a soulmate connection or a marriage or a commitment. And I feel like there's this energy of surrender here. Like there's something that you're going to find out or some sort of communication, something you're going to hear, something you're going to see that's going to allow you to move forward. Okay, it's going to allow you to make a decision because what you've been trying to manifest is coming to you, but the details are going to be a little bit different. 
and you're going to see what you actually, what is for your highest good. The universe is working in your favor here. We have the nine of cups. We have the nine of swords. We have the 10 of hearts coming down to a nine as well in reverse. So I've got nine, nine, nine. Nines are about completing a cycle. You're completing a very difficult cycle. Some of you guys keep attracting people who aren't available. Okay, emotionally or they're in other connections. Um, or you just, you keep attracting people that, it's like they're so close to what you want and what you need, but you're not getting what you need out of these connections. But it's not something that you're doing, Cancer. What you're working towards, your wish fulfillment, is going to come true. But there is like a little shift. Okay, there's a little shift in perspective that's necessary. And you're gonna you're getting some type of information that's gonna make that all very clear. It's gonna show you, it's gonna light up your path. It's almost giving you like a little road map. Okay. Some of you guys are getting a glimpse of the Akashic Records as well. And that's part of the ascension. It's gonna make things much clearer for you. Tell me more about this hierophant, please, for my cancers. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> this is you, this is in the space of what you need to do. You the you're you somebody is coming in to offer you stability and commitment. This could be in the form of a job or it could be a person. And look at that, we get temperance. It's also going to be very healing. There's divine timing at work here. If you guys are disappointed about a certain situation in your life romantic or job or otherwise there the divine came in the divine stepped in to, to 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 revert to change your course here because there's something better for you there's something stronger there's something that's meant for you cancer okay and this commitment is coming in you may have to be patient divine timing is at work here you may need to sort of heal this situation heal from this situation because with the ten of cups in reverse it's like i know that it was really painful some of you may have thought that this was your person some of you may have thought this was your twin okay this definitely there was a reason for this to happen but the divine definitely came in to intervene okay You're surrounded by your angels and your guardians and your spirits. Again, some of you guys are definitely seeing 11-11 on the clock. You're ending a cycle. You're ending a cycle of uncertainty, Cancer. Something here is being healed. Many of you are coming out of like a state of lack, of believing that you know you can't have what it is that you want because you've been coming really close. You're recognizing that you're you're quickly manifesting. You're manifesting quicker. But sometimes it's like, sometimes you don't believe it. Or sometimes you manifest, but there's something off about it. Okay. Look at that. We do get the Magician. Three of Swords. Healing. Heartbreak. And you get the Four of Swords. Wow. Wow, the sun card in reverse. Wow, Cancer. Some of you guys have been, some of you guys, again, this Hierophant energy, what I'm picking up here with this person and this ball of light, it's like you're getting a healing. You're receiving a very deep healing, which is going to allow you to flow. It's going to allow you, um, allow you to attract abundance and love. Okay, and you haven't been able to do that quite yet. And not for all of you, right? Some and I feel like some of you guys are doing it, but there's something that's like it's like it's un, it's not satisfying. What you're manifesting isn't satisfying in some way. It makes you happy, but there's something that's off, either about a connection or about a job or you know. But you're recognizing that you're 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 able to manifest a lot quicker. This three of swords energy and the four of swords in reverse. This is like double. Three of Swords. Cancer, you're healing your heart chakra. And a lot of what this is coming in, this offer and this healing that's coming in, is coming in to heal your heart chakra so that you can now be free to manifest what is for you. The Four of, you were closed off without realizing it. The High Priestess, many of you are empaths and psychics. The Star card. Look at that. And you get the magician again in reverse. You were you were manifesting. Look at that. Eight of Wands. 
This is my card of law of attraction. You guys were manifesting, but for some reason with the magician in reverse, you were manifesting, but maybe you were manifesting what wasn't for your highest good. Okay. You may have been manifesting, for example, relationships or people, and you were able to do that easily, but there was some sort of trickery involved. There was some sort of deceit, whether you were deceiving yourself or somebody was deceiving you. This is being healed. Okay. But with the magician and the high priest, I do have a very important soul connection here. Some of you guys are in separation from this person. This then this is healing that heartbreak. The star card and the high priestess. You need to trust your intuition. You need to trust your intuition. Some of you guys may have stopped trusting your intuition. And that's why we're getting this um, overthinking energy, the overanalysis paralysis. There was this dark night of the soul. Some of you guys feel like you went to hell and back. There was something that you weren't seeing that you were closed off to that you're no longer closed off to. The sun in reverse, again, sometimes represents my twin flames because we do have, look here, we have these love birds. In certain decks, we have two baby twins. Okay, they're mirroring each other. Some of you guys are in separation. Again, that's true with the Ten of Cups as well, the Two of Wands. A decision was made, but it's like what you're working towards is coming in. You will be getting an offer of commitment. You will be healing. You're going to be seeing things a lot more clearly, Cancer. This definitely hasn't been easy. You're healing your heart space, Cancer. And that's going to open up the channels for abundance and love and happiness and growth. Advice for my dear Cancers, please. A surprise is on the horizon. Expect a nice surprise. Yeah, some of you guys, you're manifesting something. And look at that. We get these two columns. This portal is wide open for you. You're going to walk right through it. And look at what's beyond it. It's almost unbelievable. I had a dream like this when I was a child. This exact scene. And look, here we see that light grid, the map. Things are coming much more clear to you, Cancer. This is a very spiritual reading. Some, you're, you're, there is some sort of surprise, commitment, abundance, healing coming to you. You may not even realize that you're, that you're manifesting this. With the sun card, it may not be what you expect it to be, but it's still going to make you very, very happy. It's kind of like while your focus was on something that was sort of making you anxious and pulling you around in circles and circles, you were actually manifesting something else. And because your attention was away from it, that's what allowed it to come into that come to you in the 3D. Cosmic gateway. Wow. Cancers. <laughs> wow. All right. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. Wow, Cancer, this is one of the most spiritual readings yet. Look at this cosmic gateway. We have the awakening. We have this, this person walking through the columns. We have the high priestess energy. You guys are receiving a major, major upgrade here. Be careful of what you're thinking. What are your motives? Some of you guys are realizing your motives for wanting union or abundance or whatever were missed. They, they weren't coming from a place of love. They may have been coming from a place of fear. You're being shown that. That's not easy. That may have also sort of put you in this sort of darkness or a period of darkness and anxiety because you weren't aligned. But you are. You are aligning. You're receiving a, a healing, a healing in the heart space. And that's going to change everything for you, Cancer. Look at that. We get hope, love, and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. Yeah, Cancer, some of us have been in this negative mental body, this negative head space. Some of you have been trying to manifest love or this very important connection and you haven't been able to. You've been attracting the wrong person. And it may be because of your motives for wanting to be in connection. They were based in fear or longing or hurt or need. 
And I know that's not easy for all of us to accept, but once you do, you understand love is yours. You have something very important coming to you, not just a healing, but somebody's going to come in and offer a commitment. Bottom of the deck, you get the Holy Spirit. I'm going to keep him out. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. Oh, cancers. This is awesome. Some of you guys were giving up on love. That's not going to happen. You guys are on the threshold of something very big here. Very big. The winged messenger creation. Wow. Spiritual direction inspires my creative flow. Yeah. Spirit, you guys are receiving an upgrade and a healing. You guys are getting some sort of message, some sort of clear clarity that's going to open up these channels, these 11, this 1111 portal being blown wide open for you to manifest what it is you want to create. And you're being helped here. You're being helped and you're being guided because there was some, we got a little bit off track here, cancer somehow. It could be because of a person. Okay. It could be because of a situation. It sort of pulled us out of our, pulled us out of our, pulled us out of our, uh, out of, out of alignment. Okay. That's being that we're fixing that there's a healing coming through sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. Yeah. Th this may be a relationship. This may, this very well could be your twin flame. Some of you guys came out of alignment, have been in separation whether you guys are know each other in this lifetime or not, the separation, there were delays, there were frustrations because something was out of alignment, something needed to be healed. That is changing. Love is yours. This sacred union, there's somebody coming in to make a commitment and it's coming in with a healing or right after a healing. Healing from heartbreak, healing from sadness, healing childhood wounds, even cancer. Wow, this is powerful. This is something that is divinely ordained, divinely orchestrated. Okay, there is divine intervention here. Some of you guys, again, I'm repeating myself, so I'm going to stop soon, but we're involved with something that wasn't meant for you. And divine intervention came through here because there is a sacred union that wants to come in. Okay, it may not be with who you expect it to be. Okay, or it very well may be. Okay. I also, I just want you to notice here the letters H-O, H-O, <laughs> right? I mean, I know that. Let's not just look at those words, but those might be important letters in, those might be important letters in a person that's important or influential in your life. It could be their initials, either their name starts or has an H or an O in it, which are kind of not really common letters, Okay. And then also look here. I mean, it's almost like these two. I mean, it's Horus and it's Hope. This person, I feel like who's coming towards you. Look, and both of these have their, have this important sort of heart chakra. This is enlightenment. Destiny. This is destined. This sacred union is destined to come in for you, but there needs to be some sort of alignment, some sort of healing here, Cancer, okay? You're going to be getting a message that's going to clear everything up, that's going to allow you to move forward here, and you're going to be very pleasantly surprised. There's something unexpected. This person may be different from you, okay? So it's important that you keep an open mind here, Cancer. I'm, I'm going to just pull some Romance Angel cards for you guys. I haven't been doing it for everybody else. Um, but I feel like it's necessary. Hold on. Unrequited love. Yeah, some of you guys have been in an unrequited love situation. Okay. And, and that may have sent you in a tailspin. And then you get love yourself first. Yep, so there's like a healing that needs to take place. It could be recent. It could be a past situation. Okay. It could be also where you didn't, you know, in the past, even in childhood, you know, maybe you didn't feel like, you know, that you were loved or accepted. Final message. 
this could be the one. Yeah, <laughs> this is your process. There's somebody that you have to let go of or there's a situation that just couldn't keep going, Cancer. And so turning that, turning that energy inward with love yourself first. Okay, that, this energy is what brings in this sacred union. Yep. What I just heard, you know, you have to kiss a lot of frogs before you find your prince, you know, and I know that's sort of gender specific, but take gender out of it. Yeah, this hasn't been easy. Expect a beautiful surprise, Cancer. Something, someone, this sacred union is on its way. Okay, and I know you've been through a lot, but you have to believe it. You are manifesting this. I love you guys. Thank you for listening. I hope you got clarity and guidance from these messages. I hope you have a beautiful day. Take care.